Hey guys, it's Hector with another cosplay log, but this one's a different cosplay. You know, I was talking about the Persona 3 cosplay, and that's still kind of in development. But for now, I wanted to kind of switch gears and talk about my other cosplay, which is Red from Pokemon. I'm kind of working on this, you know, while well, he's called Red, Pokemon Trainer Red, whatever. He, of course, was the original trainer in the very first Pokemon video games, Green, Red, and Blue. And <clears throat> he was in the first chapters or whatever in the manga. And so at first I was thinking about doing the red cosplay from Pokemon Origins. And that kind of costume and style was the red in Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. But I instead went with the original Pokemon Trainer Red from Red, Green, Blue. And then the Pokemon Adventures or Pokemon Special, whatever you want to call it, the manga. And so, <clears throat> I kind of looked around at different items on Amazon and eBay and stuff. You know, just basic stuff that I can put together myself. But then I came across a really, really cool overcoat and hat from a person who makes his own kind of cosplay stuff. And he was selling it. So I bought this hat and it, came, and, and it came with this emblem or whatever you want to call it, this patch on the hat. But of course, this is just some regular old hat, and then he, he just put the emblem on, which is cool. And then he included gloves, which, while well, the the fan art, well, not the fan art, the official artwork for the Pokemon Trainer Red in the in the little textbooks and all that stuff that came with the video game, and even in the manga, he wears gloves in some pictures, and then he wears he doesn't wear gloves in other pictures, so that's a little confusing. And also, the package came with this which is of course the red vest attached to a white shirt and it has a little extra here because I think it if you look at the artwork it does seem a little extra like that and then the pockets there are actually pockets they do work or whatever they're not just for show the pockets in the manga there is just a white strip but in the artwork that's in the video game booklets and all that stuff sometimes this entire pocket is white sometimes there's no white at all so it was kind of, I guess he just went with the manga style instead. And then on the back, there's a white circle, you know, kind of like a Pokeball. But the actual artwork that's that's used in a video game, the bottom is white and the top is kind of a yellowish gold color. So I was thinking about coloring it, coloring it in myself. I looked at the manga. There weren't any colored pictures of the circle of his back. But it did show his back in the manga, but it was only in black and white. So I'm not 100% sure it's gold on the top in the manga since there isn't any colored version of his back. But I figured I'd go with the original artwork and then just color it gold anyways. But in the black and white manga, there is a kind of line separating the top and bottom part of the Pokeball. So, you know, there's that. So that's also influenced my thought of why I should color it gold. And of course it got just a plain black undershirt and then just some old jeans and that's all I have so far. I did order some shoes that look a lot like the Pokemon Red, Pokemon Trainer Red shoes. They're, you know, white Adidas's with some red stripes. And then I also ordered um, really good looking gym badges. So I'm going to put those on the shirt because the manga red just lined them up on his shirt right here. And then I also bought that that original Tiger Electronic Pokedex. I used to have that when I was a kid. I have no idea where it went. My family said I sold it in a yard sale and I never sell any of my Pokemon stuff unless it's video games. Because when I was younger I would sell the video games and they get newer video games. But then as I got older I just decided to rebuy those older video games because I just want to collect all my video games pretty much. But I swear, I do not rem remember ever selling the Pokedex. They said I did. I don't remember that stuff, so I just bought a new one. And I was looking through e eBay at all the different ones. Some had broken hinges, some had messed up stickers, some didn't even turn on. So I went with a decent one that turned on, that wasn't broken, and all that stuff. So once I get this all together, I guess I'll take more pictures. I already have a little blog post on my website with some pictures of me kind of testing it out but of course it's not complete but it does fit it's a medium 
I'm not looking to close it because that would be kind of tight, but it's supposed to remain open. And there's this white button. I don't remember a white button being here, but whatever. Probably put my Pokedex in the, one of the pockets. And then I was thinking about when I go to one of these conventions, because some people like to play video games at these conventions. I was thinking about bringing my 3DS with my Pokemon Alpha Sapphire in here, because I have all 721 Pokemon in here with some well-bred max stats, great move sets, a bunch of Pokemon like that. So maybe I'll battle some people, maybe I'll trade some shinies or something. And I don't know, we'll see what happens. Oh yes, and the video game artwork of Pokemon Red, he just wears his hat straight on like this. But the manga version, he wears his hat backwards and then his hair is all sticking out all crazy. My hair is still not very long. Well, it's pretty long, but it's not long enough for like anime and manga style. So I'm still going to be growing it out a little bit and see what happens, I guess. So that's it for this cosplay log. When I get my other items, I will make another cosplay log talking about the quality of these other items. I'm really excited to see how those badges look because I never, I've never owned any badges from the any of the Pokemon games. And those are like fan-made or whatever you want to call them. They're not official because I don't think they've ever sold any official badges. So when I get those, I'll make another video and tell you guys what I think. So yeah, until then, I don't know. See you guys later. Like this video if you like it. If you appreciate me, appreciate me doing cosplay lo logs. I don't know, whatever. Subscribe if you want to see more Japanese related videos, cosplay log videos, educational videos with my Otaku Encyclopedia. I have a playlist on that up. I also redid my whole channel layout, so you just go straight to my channel. You can see Otaku Encyclopedia, product reviews, and then a featured video and all that good stuff. And I guess that's it. Subscribe, like, and that's it. See you guys later.